To calculate true shooting percentage, we first have to code for true shooting percentage. So for this particular stat, we need points, field goal attempts, and free throw attempts. So if we come into the timeline right here, I've got a player selected and go into the sorter. You'll see that I've got the shot results here. So that's going to have our total shot attempts as well as it's going to let us calculate our players' points. And we've also got free throws here. So the 2A is representative of how many attempts and the plus two is representative of how many attempts they got, um, they scored. So in this case, he got two points from two attempts. Now, if you want to know how to code for all of these stats, I've got a link in the description to my ultimate code window for basketball, and there you'll be able to see how I do it. Coming back into the output window, we're going to make a whole bunch of variables and then substitute them into the equation. So Total shots is relatively easy. Count label made two, made three, missed two, and then missed three with row equals player. In this case, the player is uh, referencing a button ID in the code window. So it's just this button here, number three Jackson. So it's where row equals number three Jackson. For our points, we've got to have a, um, a variable for each one of um, the ways you can score points. So made two, where row equals player times two, obviously times two because it's a two point shot. Made three, where row equals player times three, because it's a made three. And then each one of these free throws is also got a corresponding multiplier by how many points they scored. So plus two is times two, plus three is times three, and you add them all together and you've got your player's total points. Then for the attempts, the way I've coded it, 1A, 2A, and 3A. So two att one attempt, two attempts, three attempts, times two and times three for the corresponding amount of attempts. Add all those together and you've got your total attempts. So now I've just got to substitute them into the equation. So total points, total shots, and total free throw attempts. And then in my showing, um, my show sector of this output window, I've got the show round because I want to round it into just one decimal point. So I've got show round, two brackets because there's two equations, true shooting percentage times 100 just to make it a larger number. As I said, just round it to one decimal point and then add the percentage symbol. And then for those with Sports Code Elite, I've got a show feature here for a corresponding movie, and I've just got all the made, well, I've got all the shot attempts. So that's the complete, um, those are all the lines of script, and then when we come into the output window, you just have to go rename, and it's gonna rename and show me the true shooting percentage for each one of these players. And then when I click that button, it's gonna show me all the shot attempts. So if you want to know how to do it, you can pause the video and get a screenshot of how I've done it. But again, the most important thing is how you code it. If you want to know how you, I code it, there's a link in the description to my ultimate basketball code window. Hope this helps and happy scripting.